Throughout the Cold War decades, the British utilized a variety of armored cars for reconnaissance, scouting and security. One such product became the Daimler Ferret Armored Car, a 3.7-ton vehicle crew by two and minimally armed through a single 7.62mm, or 0.30 caliber machine gun. Power was served through a Rolls-Royce B60 i6 gasoline-fueled engine outputting 130 horsepower. The vehicle was fully suspended for cross-country travel with power driven to all four-wheel systems. Operational ranges reached 190 miles with a peak road speed of 58 miles per hour. The ferret found widespread popularity in the foreign market, taken on in number by some 30 nations. Design work on the diminutive car began in 1949. Having found success with previous Daimler armored cars during World War II, the British Army once again looked to the local concern for its next product. A machine gun turret was made optional and steel used throughout a majority of the vehicle's construction. The run-flat tires were held at the extreme corners of the chassis for maximum balance in turns and running on uneven terrain. Smoke grenade discharges allowed the crew to generate their own smoke screen as needed, the crew numbering two and made up of a driver and commander. The fighting compartment was a good portion of the internal volume of the front, and middle of the hull with the engine kept separate in a compartment at the rear. Vision ports were assigned to all panels of the upper hull superstructure to improve situational awareness for the crew. Its profile was purposely low and the vehicle quite robust for the roll ahead. It was also of compact dimensions which made transportation easier, dimensions included a length of 12 feet, a width of 6 feet and a height of 6 feet. The ferret was produced in many variants beyond the original turretless ferret MKI. The MKII featured improved armor protection and an amphibious quality while the MKI-2 had a fixed turret emplacement with hinged roof door and added a third crew member to the mix. The MK-2 was given the Alvis Saracen turret and armed with a 0.30 calories browning machine gun and the MK-2. I were MKI models brought up to the MK-2 standard. The MK-2A2 had a three-door turret and the follow-up MK-2A3 had improved armor protection. The MK2E4 was given welded on applique armor plates for even more added protection and the MK2V was the MKI with the applique armor. The MK2E6 was an anti-tank guided missile ATGM, carrier while the MK2E7 was the MK2-6 sans the missile launcher. The MK3 was given better armor protection, a reinforced suspension system, larger road wheels and a flotation screen for amphibious operations. The MK-4 became a reconnaissance-minded vehicle with the Saracen turret and included MK-2, three marks brought up to this new standard. The MKV mounted the Swingfire Anti-Tank Guided Missile, ATGM, as well as the L7 General Purpose Machine Gun, GPMG. Ferrets were produced from 1952 to 1971 to which total production yielded 4,409 units. In the British Army, the vehicles were ultimately surpassed by more modern solutions. Smaller armies still maintain a fleet of ferret armor cars in their stable, including Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Sudan, and Zambia with over 30 vehicles each. Former operators include Australia, Canada, France, Iraq, and South Africa.